This is Steve from Boxing UK. Absolutely delighted to be joined by your man of the moment, Christopher Lovejoy. How are you finding the UK, mate? Everything is good. Everything is good. Feeling good. I love it. Right, we'll get straight on. You've come from How's... absolutely nowhere, mate. How's this come about, this big fight with Dave Allen? Um, uh, basically, I just saw that he had an opening for a fight. Uh, the opponent didn't work. Um, and you know me, if you know me, you don't know me, this is my style. I call people out. You know, I try to come in late notice. But me not having a promoter, I got to get in where I fit in. So I seen that opponent, and I'm a fan of David. You know, I've seen him before. I've called him out before. So he ain't got an opening, so I called him out. Like, let's do it. If you're opening, let's go. And he was up for the challenge, uh, did what he had to do. Eddie got in contact with me immediately. Uh, and they called my bluff, like, what's up? And I said, okay, well, come on. And the next day, I was on a plane. It's a really quick turnaround for you. What, what conversations did you have with Eddie? Has he literally just made you an offer, Chris, and you've come over and accepted that offer? Quick as it, was re it was real brief. Um, I've met him a few times uh, about a year back. Uh, it was just real brief, like, let's go, champ. You ready? This is you. Uh, you sure? I said, yeah. Okay, so, okay, well. Let's do it. And I said, okay, come on. He said, um, his guy from Matchroom was going to call me, set it up, go get all my blood tests, my, my physical tests, and make sure everything is good to go, uh, get everything approved, and uh, let's go. I said, cool, let's go. I'll see you there. It was just real brief. It wasn't really too much to talk about. And you've had all the tests and everything this morning because Matchroom only officially declared it earlier this afternoon. Yeah, I had to go finish the brain scan, the MRI, and stuff like that. Everything else had to come back clear, so... And everything is good to go. That's why I didn't really post it because everything had to be done. It was just was cramming everything in. So Eddie called me in the morning. He said, yeah, everything about done because as soon as it's done, we're going to make a press release and make it official. I said, okay, cool. Good man. Chris, can we ask about you? Yeah, we don't know an awful lot about you, to be honest. We know you're ranked 15 by the WBA. But if we go online, there's not an awful lot of footage about you. Uh, <laughs> we know you've got 19 wins, 19 kills. So... Can you tell us a little bit more? Who have you fought? What's your style uh, like? What you're going to bring on Saturday? Um, we'll start with um, who I fought. Um, I fought a lot of journeymen. Um, by me not having any amateur fights, I had to fight those journeymen um, to get my name out there, to get a nice record, you know, move myself the right way to kind of get in the door. And... You know, by me coming and starting boxing at 32 years old, you know, no too many people took me serious. You know, I was a lot overweight, no experience. You know, so it's like, who's going to really take me serious, you know? So I had to go get me some wins. And, you know, despite what their record looked like, I was fighting better opponents as I got on in my career. I wanted the better opponents to kind of last a little longer. So um, I think I built it up the right way. Um, as far as style-wise, I'm still learning. You know, I switch it up. I might fight, you know uh, – just orthodox, regular, you know, laid back. Or I might be a little bit aggressive. I might try to use my height, you know. It just depends on, you know, I kind of go after the fighter. I don't really just have one style. It just depends. Um, as far as, like, film goes, I kind of did this on purpose because if I'm doing everything by myself, I will save money by having a film guy come. You know, my fights were in Mexico. So I have to pay someone to come over the border to be, and get them a room for a day or two, then pay them for footage. And... Me getting the footage is not doing anything for me. The, the footage is for everyone else. Don't wait, look at it. <laughs> um, you know? Do you think that might be an advantage, though, Chris? Because I'm assuming you've seen most of Dave's fights or you've, you've watched these fights recently now that you know the fight's going ahead. Do you think it's an advantage that nobody knows too much about you? It's definitely an advantage. Definitely. I've watched a few of his fights, not too much recently. I'm just really focused on me, focused on the fight. Um, because, like I say, I've seen him fight. He's fought in numerous different styles. So I don't want to get caught up in expecting one thing. He comes out a different way or he does it. So I'm going to just stick to my game plan, and we go from there. And how much of a threat do you think Dave's going to be? Because if you follow Dave, he's had some fights where he's quite openly admitted he wasn't in the best condition. But for this one, he says he's in the best condition that he's been. Are you expecting a tough Dave Allen? <laughs> uh, I expect him to always be tough. Even when he's not in good shape, he's always a tough guy, you know. He got a grand chin, you know, he's uh he moves around a lot. 
So I'm expecting him to come on his A game because he has to be on his A game. It's a pay per view event. I mean, you know, he's getting to the point where now he got a he has a good fan base, but as far as the career goes, he got to kind of step it up now, you know. And you know, he's going to go from here. He's going to either go back up, or he, from here, if he loses, he go back down. So he's not just a, going to go like that. So I'm expecting a lot out of him. Um, you know, he's always brings his A game. So I'm I'm not in no position to underestimate anyone, but at the same time. I'm a bigger guy. I'm confident. I have nothing to lose. You know, I got here just on, you know, a few fights, and it's just my luck that he accepted my challenge. And I'm going to show the world that um, I'm here to stay. I'm going to beat him, you know. And after the fight, you know, I'm still a fan of his. Nothing personal. This is business. I love the guy, you know. I really do. I've been a fan of him. I even like all the jokes he makes, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I even thank him for giving me this opportunity because if he would have said no, I wouldn't be here right now. So, but as far as business go, you know, we both agreed on we can be cool and uh, fight night is on. You say that you're a fan of his and you get on, but can I put a couple of, you've had a bit of a war of words recently, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's just how I am anyway. You know, yeah. I, um, you know, he seems to not want to be too disrespectful, so I'm not too disrespectful. So I kind of go off of where he's on. If he say he's going to fuck me up, oh, I'm going to fuck you up too. <laughs> you know, if he calls me a piece of shit, I'm going to call him a piece of shit too. So. Um, Can we chuck a couple of things at you? Yeah. Uh, just a couple of things Dave said today. Uh, he said that <laughs> Christopher's 36, but he acts 15. That's good. That's good. <laughs> he can't wait to smack you in the head. If he if he lands, I mean he's like six feet tall. I mean he 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 might not even reach me. He gonna have to just get close, take some punches, and try and get some body shot. He probably won't hit my face. I'm too long and tall for that. Unless uh, he wants to brawl it out, we can we can brawl it out too. But yeah. And he was asked whether he would get rid of you in five rounds, and Dave said he would be looking to get rid of you in thirty seconds. Is that gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that never happened. I mean. Just like I can't say I would get rid of him in 30 seconds. Any professional boxer who's been in the ring with people, if it was just about going the rounds, I mean, I could just go in 10 rounds just jogging around the ring protecting myself, you know. So I don't expect him to go out that fast, and he can't be serious thinking I'm going to go out that fast. So, But you've come to fight. Definitely come to fight. Uh, I don't know what they think is going on. I'm a big 350-pound fat guy. never fought anybody. I'm going to get knocked out in 30 seconds. It's definitely not going to happen, you know. I took this fight fast with no hesitation. This is the opportunity of, my, of a lifetime. Yeah, I was so going like to say, I was, yeah. oh, Sorry, man. I was going to say, like, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. I had to take the chance, you know what I'm saying. Late, late notice, you know, but it's working for me. What kind of shape are you in, Christopher, with it being late notice? Are you a guy that keeps yourself trim? Uh... I'm a 350-pound guy <laughs> walking around, <laughs> but I'm cool. You know, I'm about 330 fight night. Right. I think I lost about three or four pounds since the fight announced anyway. Good, man. Just being serious for a minute. Um, what does it mean for you to be on a bill like this, mate? Because this must be the opportunity of a lifetime at 36. Chances are you probably won't well, get another chance like this, so... Must mean a lot, man. It definitely means a lot. Um, the age don't mean a lot to me because, as you can see, I can talk to you with no problem. Yeah. I have no damage. You know, I've, I've, I've been well taken care of, always working out, eat healthy. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Yeah. So I'm pretty much like, you know, a young fighter in, in heart and my health. In the boxing world, you know, other people say, oh, he's 36. He's kind of kind of getting too old. I don't feel it. I'm okay. So... Uh, as far as the opportunity, it's definitely an opportunity of a lifetime. And that's why I had to take this. I had to take the chance. You know, whether me being in tip top shape for a fight camp or not, I had to take this chance to come get on the show. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. pay per view event. You know what I'm saying? Over here in the UK, I mean, it doesn't really get no bigger than this. So it's a no brainer for me. Has Eddie said anything to you about what happens if you pull off the win? He hasn't said anything. I mean, Eddie doesn't really know too much about me either. I mean, we know each other. We've met a few times. We've talked. He probably never took me serious. 
but he's going to take me serious now. So um, we can just go from there. Good man. I always talk to him. You know what I'm saying? I've never really asked him if anything. I, even when I first met him, I never thought of, man, give me a shot, man, or give me a sign me. Or, no, I was just like, listen, we're past that. You know, I got, I think I was like 16 and 0 when I met him. I'm like, listen, man, just give me a fight. Be side fight. I'm ready right now. Like, we ain't got to talk about nothing else. And it was a real brief thing. But we've shot a few messages here and there over the last couple of years. And, uh, but he didn't say anything about it, you know. He's, he's curious, too. He wants to see what I'm going to do. It was, just, it was all perfect timing. It's the bubble. Um, do you know when you go into the matchroom bubble? I'm in the bubble. I'm here. Are you then? Pretty hell. Yeah. I have um, to because... I'm here. Are you going to sell it this week, Christopher? Because I would assume once you and Dave are actually clapped eyes on each other, that, that's going to be quite fun. Oh, yeah, we're going to sell it. It's, 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 it's going to be live. It's going to be action, man. You know, I'm a, he's an entertainer. I'm an entertainer as well. So, you know, uh, it's, it should be fun. And will you be keeping your eyes out for Derek and Alexander? Oh, yeah, I definitely want to see that fight. That's another reason why I had to come out here and get a piece of this, because I got to see that fight. So, um, yeah, I'm going to watch that, too. Uh, can I ask for a prediction for the Chisora Usyk fight first? Prediction, um, I'm going to go with Usyk decision. Yeah. Um, just because I think that um, – I think Chisora might come out trying to throw some big blows. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he'll be too successful after a couple of rounds of that. Uh, Yusuke probably move around a lot. Like I watched Yusuke in his heavyweight debut. He moved around a lot against a decent opponent. And I think he got a little more experience now. He's feeling now. And I think he'll, you know, but I just think that he, he'll move around a lot. He's not going to sit there and bang like that. And obviously your fight against Dave. How's that one going to go? Can you give us a prediction? I'm predicting a second round knockout, you know. Uh, if he's if he's if he's on his A game, he might last three or four rounds, you know. But I don't think he's going to run from me, you know. So that's why I say first, second round knockout. You do if know he, he hasn't been. Get a fan. Sorry, Chris. You do know Dave hasn't been dropped, don't you? So that's a built. That's a big bull prediction. Well, I got 19 fights with all knockouts, so he hasn't fought me either. Fair point. So you know. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to get him out. Like I said, I was going to really just make it a show, go dance with him, you know, jab him up a little bit, let him know he can't really hit me. Good fans of the show, but, you know, he started talking some smack. So I'm going to just get him out of there, you know. And that's what the people want to see anyway. They want to see a knockout, you know. You got mutual fans like to see the dance and have fun. It was a good show. But the real boxing fans, they want to see a knockout. So I'm going to make him fight. Good man. Well, it's coming up 25 to midnight, Chris, so we'll let you go. Enjoy yeah, the rest yeah. of your week in the UK, matey. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I will. I'm just chilling. I'm uh, getting in the shower and lay down in a second. Good man. You take care. May the best man win on Saturday. Okay, thank you. Speak soon. Take care, Chris. Okay, bye.